Hello guys, what is up? It's Bloomer here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys and playing some more survival Let's Play on my 1.16 map. It's on multiplayer as well. I will not be sharing the IP. And if you guys are just new to my channel, make sure to press that subscribe button at the bottom of the video and press that notification bell as well. Help me out. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Since yesterday, I've started posting videos and adding comments to the end of videos from the week before's videos. So any comments made on today's videos will be posted for next Wednesday's video at the end of that video. Any comments from last Wednesday's video will be posted at the end of this video. Be sure to check them out. And in this episode, we're going to be showing you guys my awesome underground base that I decided I'd make because I want to be so secretive. Because Freedom Keeper, the person that we were playing with in this game, decided to move away from me. So I decided I would move away too and I'd hide my base. As you can see on the outside, it's not very well hidden right now, but I plan on hiding it a lot more than what it is right now. Like, it's obvious that something lives around here, especially when you close this. So, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys from the outside. Maybe. No. So, Basically this whole thing actually, well, it's broken right now because of what I just pressed. I literally just broke the whole thing. Or the server's very laggy right now. So, I shouldn't be stuck in on right now. Let's see what's going on here actually. Now it's broken. There we go. There's like an extra block or something. Um, let's turn it off. See if it works now. Does not confuse it what's going on right now. It's not, it was not planned for the video, but okay. So it's not pulling it back. There's something wrong with the delay, I'm assuming. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna have to add some more stone back there here soon. Sorry about that part of the video. So anyways, check out my awesome base that I made. Kevo1337 have actually helped me make this. We had to move a lot of stuff down here. A lot of mining was done to actually complete this awesome base. <clears throat> we finally got a level 30 enchantment table as well, which is very well needed for how new we are to the playing on this server. We also actually got an underground farm, which is very helpful in my opinion. I've been needing to collect sugar cane a lot. I'm trying to make a lot of books for enchanting and leveling and all that. We also have our rooms down here. Here's my little room. Nothing too special about it right now we need to do put a little bit more work into it this is kevo's room he's got a mine actually going right now we have actually found a zombie spawner we're gonna work on that in a later episode working on actually making that zombie spawner easily effective for this episode i actually wanted to go try and find some villagers or pillagers as well this is not obvious that anybody who lives here with all of these. I don't think uh, Minecraft generates the vines like that. <clears throat> if it did, that'd be awesome for a player because that's a lot of food. How much do we have? That is so much. You literally step on these though, they'll start injuring you and hurting you. Like that. So... Let's not step on them. All these zombies keep attacking me. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't notice, I also have two pet dogs. I had a pet cat. The pet cat, what did it do? Oh yeah, a creeper exploded. It literally gave me a notification on the screen saying, Cat was killed by creeper. I didn't know that animals dying gave you notifications in-game. But I guess they do. Fun fact if nobody else knew that, but now you do if you didn't. So, 
I know there's a village this way, but honestly, I want to find like a pillager village, which I don't know how to find them. I forget. How do you start a raid? I'm trying to think on how raids start. I did it on the Xbox 360 version or Xbox One version. I think you have to ring the bell. No, I'm trying to think. Um, we're not going to do that, okay? We're just going to go exploring for a bit for the rest of this episode. Hopefully we run into some cool stuff that I actually need for my island, or my underground tunnel. Whatever it is. Uh, also, Freedom, if you're watching this video, I hope you don't find my hidden tunnel, hidden base. Uh, I really want to pull up my coordinates right now just to know where I'm at on the map, but I'm not pulling it up right now because I don't want Freedom to know where my base is. Okay, I'm not, I also want to know how to mine beehives. I do not know how to. I accidentally destroyed a beehive by trying to mine it with my bare hand and that did not work. So here's a bee actually. Let's try mining it with an ax if we find one. And we'll continue and hopefully find a different village because the village I was at was actually not that good. It was big, but like... They had all baby villagers, and I was like, I can't trade with you guys. <clears throat> so, let's see, we see anything up here? A cow. That's not helpful. There's a village actually right over there. Maybe we could find like a temple, an end temple. Not an end temple. Uh, those underwater temples. Also, uh, I was mining my whole underwater ba underground base. We ran into probably 30 plus silverfish. I'm not sure if that's a sign that the end portal is near our base or what it means. Uh, that's what I think it means. But I haven't ran into the end yet, the end portal there at all. We also dug a tunnel straight down to like bedrock. So that's going to be questionable if we're gonna find the end anywhere nearby i've been over here before i remember the vine uh, the whatever that place is underwater there underground I keep saying underwater i don't know why so that didn't work i'm gonna have to do some research before i actually mine any more beehives because i don't want to risk it like that i keep destroying beehives that I could hang on to and use for honey. I know they collect honey. That's about all I know about them. And the honey is used for like eating and it like heals you or something like that. So maybe we'll find another beehive that I can work on later for destroying. So the sucky part is about this 1.16 being multiplayer right now. I literally have no commands that I can use or anything so literally everything done on here some youtubers don't do their let's play videos legit they literally make everything in creative in my opinion and this is literally legit because i am at 1.16 on a server it's obvious that kevo helped me you guys have seen freedom in my video episode two and so the 1.16 snapshot server edition right now literally has no commands so there's no way I could be going into creative or making anything that I've made. But I just think it's so, like, horrible how YouTubers actually use creative for their Let's Play series. Just to make it done so much faster. I like putting in the work. It makes me more feel more dedicated to my videos, actually. When I'm putting in the work and knowing everything that I did was, like, hours of work. I literally played, like, a solid six to eight hours before I've actually recorded this episode. That's why we've been taking that's why I've been taking so long recording these survival let's play videos because I literally like have so much work to put in before I can record them. Okay, so this birch biome, like I've never seen this many birch trees in my life. Like in Minecraft ever, I'm pretty sure this is like every birch tree I've ever seen totaled. Okay, so 
Maybe we'll find some diamonds or something. I don't know. I just really want to know what's around here. I'm hoping I find a, vil a pillager outpost. Or another, uh, whatever it's called. Another village. Maybe we'll also find, like, a jungle biome. I'm fine with anything that's pretty cool in Minecraft. We'll see. I'm going to mark down the coordinates, though, of wherever. Actually, I'm not going to mark down the coordinates. Because Freedom can literally just, like, try to remember the direction I came from. And find my base. And so... Freedom hasn't been on in a while. So I might try actually finding her base. I don't know if she officially made a base yet. But I like this whole, like, base wars idea kind of thing. But I got Kevo on my team, so you better watch out. If you're trying to mess with me. So let's see. I'm just like stuck in stuck in this forest. We're a solid like thousand blocks away right now from my base. I have to camp out overnight. Or we'll fight some zombies. Or monsters, whatever we have to fight. How have we not ran into like a cool village or a pillager outpost. <clears throat> if you guys are still watching this video, let me know in the comment section what you guys think I should be doing next. So, also, I posted on my last video, the third episode, what you guys think I'd be using my nether... Uh, what you guys think I'd be using my netherite pickaxe for. Nobody guessed anything, and literally the correct answer was my underground base and i was actually going to be giving away something if somebody got that correct so either people aren't paying attention to the videos which i understand my videos might suck to some people or everybody i don't care but check out literally all of my video if you guys want to win some free merch or i don't know i might come out with some merch i got this new awesome icon on my channel which i think is pretty dope oh i see a village maybe or a pillager outpost but as I was saying, I might actually start dropping some merch. I don't know yet. I like my YouTube icon, but it kind of looked dorky on some shirts that I tried messing around with. Did I really just think a pillager outpost was two cows? Or am I missing something? I don't see it. I thought it was those two cows. We are literally going so far away from my base right now making me kind of sad because I haven't found anything. I wish there was a way... So, actually, a raid... I'm trying to think. Raid works. I think you have to ring the bell. I'll be looking into that for the next episode. We'll record some uh, pillager raids and get that achievement on the 1.16 update. Hope you guys liked my video yesterday about the target blocks. I think the target blocks are actually a pretty useful item. I'll probably start using the target blocks actually in this series. I don't know when or for what yet exactly. Something cool. Okay, look. Oh, is this a pillage? No. It's like a woodland biome village. What's up, guy? We'll take the bread. Oh, I just set my respawn point here. Well, let's hope we don't die. Wow, that's an awesome swimming pool you guys have for yourselves. Okay, these bases come with barrels. These little guys are chasing each other. So let's see if ringing the bell actually does anything because I thought... No, I'm wrong. I don't remember how the pillager raids happen. I did it before. Don't comment in the bottom how to do it because I'll find it out by the time you're watching this video. Because that's literally what I'm doing right after this video is searching how to do that. I don't want potatoes. Okay. I also plan on starting a Skyblock series here soon with a guy named Crafting A to Z. Check him out on YouTube. Check him out. Uh. 
yeah, just check them out. Um, we'll be doing some skyblock possibly, maybe some hide and seek. I don't know yet. Uh, two more weeks from now, I'll actually be playing on high pixel again. I got banned. I'm not telling you guys why or how. You guys will have to find out later in a video that I make when I get unbanned. And I think it's March 21st I get unbanned. It's actually been a pretty sad half month, month without playing Hypixel. I'm sad that they banned me, but everything's fixed now. I just gotta wait for the rest of the time. Yeah, it's kind of sad because I don't get to play Bed Wars, and I loved Bed Wars. And me getting banned literally defeated the purpose of me loving Bed Wars. I hope it didn't though. But we'll see. It probably did. I'm literally so far away from my base right now. I'm scared to go back, especially if it's dark. As I'm exploring a dark cave. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to die. So, with my base, I'm going to be doing some continuous work on it. And hopefully crafting A to Z, actually, I think crafting A to Z is probably going to join me here later. And we're going to be working on his bedroom as well in the awesome Bill Army underground base. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to end it now. Check out these awesome comments right after this. And leave a like and comment just so you guys can show your awesome comments for next week's video on Wednesday. And I'll see you guys later.